rise, how appropriate. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll just look at it like the rest of the scenery. Laser saw. Cut it. Push. Made it. Okay. Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Cool service lift. Is there anything funky in here that we should know about? Saw some beer. Service left. Is there anything in here? That's cool. No problemo. Let's just go and call this service elevator. Oh, it's the rest of the guys. Must just Let's give me this. some fucking hair cream. Destroy maintenance door lock. Okay, so that's going to be this thing, I guess. Activate. Kablooey. We are rocking and rolling. This mission is going better than the last one Marcus did. Uh, what was the other thing I needed to do? Get access to the main... Corridor. Deal with guards. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Oh, I don't know. Booze. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we got armed intruders, Sent. I know we're here now, you better be fast. Shit, okay. Simon has been shot! Someone's been shot. I'm okay. I can keep going. We don't have much time. Oh. Uh. Alright, come on. Ambush. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Order the android operators, uh, operators aside. Okay. Oh no. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! No. There was no other choice. We need to record our message. 
We haven't got much time. Stand in front of Josh. Josh, where are you? Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Okay, pressure's on. Your face. Remove skin. Tell me when you're ready. 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 You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Uh, equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Uh, where? We demand fair compensation for our work. Uh, Justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Means of reproduction? Territory. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Uh-oh. Simon, they're coming! Hi. I can't, Marcus. Go without me! Simon! Oh, fuck. So, how? What are you doing? Hurry! Ah, come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, come on! Take him with us. Oh no. Okay, kill him. Sorry, mate. I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Okay. Okay, I'll refrain. I won't kill one of our own. Let's go. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Way. We 
We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. Public opinion, oh no. Took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids in is this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Ooh, did I make the right choices? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. So, so I'm just having a quick scan of what I've done. So, poses. Poses teacher was a. I didn't know I was a teacher. Oh well. Wow. Oh, that that was for the um. Uh, the distraction from the receptionist. Cool. In the forecast room, shoot operator. Okay, cool. Next scenario, Connor. Oh, he's he's alive. Oh, I'm back here at the um, Think Bubble place. Find Amanda. Amanda, where are you? I do wish they would walk a little bit faster in this game. See, I don't really quite understand what's what's going on with Con Connor and his backstory and this Amanda person. Is Amanda uh, an android as well? Or is she human? Or I think Connor is like a double agent. Oh, there she is. She's on the boat. She's on the boat. It's cool. Do 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 taking a few steps. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Oh, don't mind if I do. Got any booze? And it could be a booze cruise. This looks uh, very pleasant. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Um, the Eden Club. I went to the Eden Club. But I didn't learn anything new. 
That's disappointing. Looks like another missed opportunity. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Uh, troubled. Perturbed? No. No, of course not. Why would I be perturbed? If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Uh, let's go confident. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Oh, it's all very mysterious. Why did you shoot me last night? Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot you again. Yeah, Thank you did. Seventy nine. Oh, oh we're you. investigating this now. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot to the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. That's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage, broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Okay. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. It's the feds. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you own an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. No. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. <laughs> I'll be nearby. Tell him me. If you anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Okay, okay, Lieutenant. Blue alert. You can hack the broadcast. Yeah, we know that. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. 
This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. All clues to analyze. Dude. Spare part? Yes, of course. Cheek, which is his Marcus gift from. You see something? I identified its model in serial. Anything else I should know? No, nothing. Okay, so what I noticed though was, so obviously Marcus belonged to that car guy, the guy who had the heart attack when he was arguing with his son, but he was a gift from that other guy who we was talking, who we was, is in the, um, oh, in the fucking news thing, one of the um, transcripts we've been reading. in here. Oh, what's that? Something has to examine. Baseball hat. Quick look around here. Anything in here? Oh, another transcript. Decades of Android designs that were primitive, robotic, and expensive cyber life have revolutionized the industry through an innovative of their CEO and visionary Ija Kamsky. So that's the guy who gave Marcus. No, yeah, he gave Marcus to Carl. Right, okay. Um, I can never pronounce that. It is a compound, a vital function of also life androids circulate energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. The fluid powers bio components, synthetic organs, and roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Some of these organs serve important functions, maintain temperature, circulating blue blood, etc. Um, so. Where others are used to make the androids seem more human, lungs to simulate breathing. As for humans, the loss of blue blood will impair the androids' functions, ultimately result in a shutdown. Blue blood is essential for cyber life's androids' key selling point. How human they seem, that is a wonder chemical, both power supply and a way of regulating the androids' internal systems, it was developed by one man who isn't even a trained chemist. So, so let's see some well, you just Kamsky. Clean food craze. America's urban centers all face two growing problems unemployment and lack of access to healthy, low calorie food. But in Detroit urban farms, a pilot scheme in Michigan, capital city, may have found a solution to both. DUF. It's an urban initiative that takes city dead space such as high rooftops and unused courtyards and turns them into GM free farmland. 
These farms are often staffed by urban and employed, offering decent wages and supervisory roles to people who might otherwise turn to welfare or crime. All food grown is without pesticides or other chemicals, and organic produce that results in in sold through specialist organic retailers and with obesity in Detroit at record highs, more greens on the plate can only be a good thing. When brothers Daniel and Parker Trent started the initiative five years ago, they couldn't even get funded. We want every bank in the city, but nobody would lend us enough for a shovel. Now DUF employs 50 staff supervising hundreds of androids. We get requests every day from investment firms offering us capital, but we'd rather stay independent. The ethical side of what we do is very important to us. If that means fewer unemployed and better quality food on the table, who could object? Very good, very good. Right, what else is in here? A load of androids. Oh, can I interrogate them? What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. Has oh. anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. So I can check CCTV. Where is the CC the CCTV? Speech was shot from here. Where is the CCTV? Has he got CCTV? You just say I can talk to him about anything. No. So let me just go. Oh, let's analyze these. Hang on. I want to check out the CCTV. Fle fresh blue blood. I suppose let's check out the stiff. Evan Thompson. Employee trying to escape. Yes, we know. to check the CCTV. Has forensics turned up anything? Uh, I'll check. Okay, it doesn't look like I can do anything around right here. Ah, here we go. It's the, was captured by CCTV. So, where can I view this CCTV? Uh, 
the roof access, but I don't want to... Right, let's go to the roof. So that... Oh, can you please walk up the stairs a little bit faster, please, Connor? Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Fresh blue blood. to smuggle in a big bag like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. 